I'm going to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you. I am sitting in a half lotus. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and ground our mind and our bodies here today. Ensuring that our spinal cords are nice and elongated here, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of our bodies with our shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears. This allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, hold the breath, exhale through the mouth. Noticing how that breath feels within the body as we close our eyes or gaze our eyes down. Breathing our palms to heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Breathe in, exhale. As we are using the breath to help center and bring us inward here, we are using our breath to help relax and wind our mind and our bodies down from our day. As we hang out here in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Relaxing those shoulders down, bringing our palms to the earth, connecting our hands to the earth, to the yoga mat. We are using our palms to check in and tap in with our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. As we flow our palms above our heads, we're gonna flow into a seated salute, feeling that stretch, shoulders reaches up towards the ears, spinal cord is nice and elongated here. Our heart chakra is open, our chin is up. Interlacing our fingers together with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Shoulders, arms flow slightly towards the back, chin is up. We are in our slight back bend here. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, separating those palms, coming into our seated extended mountain. This is also our channeling pose. With our chin up, our heart chakra open, our eyes gaze down and closed. May we channel in, may we welcome in what is serving and soothing for us in our lives. May we welcome positive change. Channeling in whatever is going to help us or take us to new levels in our lives. Two more breaths. Exhale and leaning our bodies towards the right, feeling that side bend, slightly gazing up at the heavens, opening up that heart chakra. We can breathe our palms together if we choose. Then we are in our seated crescent moon, whatever feels best for you. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, feeling that stretch, shoulders flows up towards the ears. Nice deep stretch, breathe in. Exhale. Leaning the body towards the left, feeling that side bend, opposite side, gazing up at the heavens, opening up that heart chakra. Breathing our palms together if we choose, coming into that crescent moon. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating our palms, flowing into that star. Our palms are out towards the side. Our chin is up, feeling nice and strong, feeling bright, feeling powerful here in our seated star. Eyes are gazed down to close. Our heart chakra is open. Spinal cord is nice and elongated here. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Feeling that breath in the body. 
twisting the body towards the right. Exhale. Arms fall down towards the earth, gazing over that right shoulder. We are in that seated twist. Allowing this twist to relax and soothe that spinal cord. Gazing those eyes down, closing the eyes. Allowing the body to relax and soothe here in our twist. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, flowing into that star. Heart chakras open, chin is up, fill in a pose here. Breathe in. Exhale, twist the body towards the left, palms float downward towards the earth, gazing over that left shoulder, seated twist opposite side. Soothe the next spine. Gazing the eyes down or closing the eyes. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, flowing into that star. Breathing to our salute, palms above our heads, palms are together. Breathe in. Exhale, palms at heart center. Relaxing those palms down. Relaxing those shoulders down with away from the ears. Gazing the eyes down, closing the eyes. Going in. Taking this time to check in with self. Noticing how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment, without judgment, simply being aware. Using this time to thank ourselves for practicing our teaching training here today. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Nice deep breath in, exhale. Flowing our feet to a bound position. We're gonna bring our feet together, coming into that diamond or that butterfly. Our feet are bounded. Working on opening up our hip flexors here. Connecting our hands to our feet if that feels good for us. Allowing that heart chakra to stay up, that chin is up. As we are feeling this flow, allowing our heads to relax backwards between our shoulder blades. We are in our bound cow pose. Noticing how this feels in our lumbar back, our lower spine. Two more breaths. Exhale into cat, bringing that chin to the clavicle, spinal cord flows towards the back of the room. Tummies are nice and tucked here. Cat pose, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back into our cow, chin is up, heart chakras open, head flows between our shoulder blades. Cow pose, two breaths. Breathing to our cat. Exhaling back to our bound position, we are nice and straight here. Breathing our palms at heart center if we choose. Allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum, gazing forward, eyes are closed. Allowing those legs to relax off to the side. Taking in a nice deep breath. Exhale. Feeling those butterfly legs, feeling those diamond legs low, closer to the earth. Listening to our bodies, noticing how we feel. As we connect our hands to our feet, slightly hinging at the hips. Allowing that torso to come downward towards the earth. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Allowing that head to relax downward towards the feet. Closing the eyes if that feels good. Feeling that body really working those hip flexors here. Taking nice subtle breaths. Maybe noticing how with each breath, our bodies go deeper or closer to the earth. Breathe in. Exhale. Three more breaths. Two breaths. 
Exhaling back up to our diamond or our butterfly. Taking a moment to notice the difference between a diamond and a butterfly. In the diamond, our feet are closer towards our bodies. Nice deep, nice deep hip opening. In our, in our butterfly, our feet are closer to our body. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our body. Both poses look the same, but they just work a little bit different parts of the hip, of the hip flexors. As we extend our legs forward, maybe using our hands to bring our knees inward and then straighten our legs, we're gonna come into that staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side. Spinal cords are nice and elongated here. Their heart chakras open, that chin is up. Feeling our bodies feeling nice and strong here in our staff. Gazing our eyes down. Breathe in. Exhale. Feeling that body relax as we slightly hinge at the hips, reaching our hands to our lower parts of our legs. Tummies are nice and tight. We are in our half forward fold. And if we choose, we can connect our hands to the lower parts of our feet, coming into that seated forward fold, complete forward fold. Torso comes down towards the thighs, head relaxes downward towards the knees, shoulder blades melt forward. This is a full body stretch here. Taking nice subtle breaths. We are elongating and we are lengthening our bodies here in this pose. Keeping that spinal cord nice and long here. Four more breaths. Maybe pointing our toes downward towards the earth if they were not already feeling that deeper stretch. Noticing that how when we point our toes downward towards the earth, that's a plantar flex, you'll feel it a little deeper. If you choose, we're going to do three more breaths here. Two breaths. Exhale, coming up to that half forward fold. Breathing back to that staff pose, bodies nice and elongated here. Feeling that stretch, positioning our bodies to feel nice and comfortable. We're gonna take this right leg, this right knee, bring it up in the air, right foot is spread on the earth. And we're gonna simply just check in with our body, seeing how we feel. And maybe we can cross this right leg over our left. Just seeing how that feels within the body. Spinal cord's nice and long. As we take this right hand, bring it behind our backs, fingertips facing away from us. Palms are flat on the earth. If this feels good, maybe we can slightly gaze over that right shoulder. This is a slight back bend here. We are in our Sage Marici three. We also, if we choose, we can take this left elbow and cross it over that right leg, going deeper into that twist. Noticing how that when you cross that elbow over, the spinal twist is deeper. So listening to your body and doing which feels best for you. Crossing that elbow or not. Taking nice subtle breaths here. Eyes are gazed down and closed. Allowing this twist to soothe the spine. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, we're gonna uncross that leg, straightening out, coming back into that staff pose. Spinal cords nice and long. Exhale into that half forward fold. Breathing to that complete forward fold if we choose, connecting our hands to our feet or ankles. Torso comes down. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into that half. Flummer back up to that staff pose. Body's nice and long. We're gonna work on our left side. Left knee comes in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. Positioning our bodies to feel comfortable. Crossing this left leg over that right if that feels good. Taking this left hand behind our backs. Fingertips facing away from us, palms are flat on the earth. Feeling that twist as we gaze over that left shoulder. This is a nice subtle twist here. If we want to go deeper in that twist, taking this right elbow, crossing it over that left knee, 
going deeper into that spinal twist. Maybe gazing the eyes down or closing the eyes, relaxing that body a little more. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. I'm gonna uncross that leg, straightening in back into our staff pose. As we breathe out, arms above our heads, flowing into that salute, fingertips reaches up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, spinal cords long, shoulders flows up towards the ears, chin is up. Interlacing our fingers together, our hands together, arms flow slightly towards the back of the room. Tummies are nice and tight here. Two more breaths. Exhaling to center, breathing down to palms at heart center. Prayer hands, relaxing those shoulders down, gazing the eyes down, closing the eyes. Two breaths. Crossing our feet at our ankles, we're going to flow into our tabletop pose. Breaking our legs inwards, finding our bodies on our hands and our knees. Knees are hip distance apart. Tummies are nice and tight. Palms are flat on the earth. As we drop down to that cow, chin is slightly up. Noticing how this cow feels in our lumbar spine, our lower spine. We're gonna hold this cow. Two more breaths. Exhale into our cat. We're gonna bring that chin to the clavicle. Spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. Tummies are tucked. Exhale back the cow. Breathing to our cat. Exhale back to our table. Straightening out that right leg behind us. Nice and elongated here. Palms are flat on the earth. We are working on balancing our bodies here. And if we're able, we can breathe, extending that left arm forward. We are now in that full sunburn. Gazing forward, holding this pose, building strength, building balance. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhaling knee to elbow, feeling that crunch, bringing that knee into the elbow. Exhaling back the bird, knee to elbow, lowering back the bird, knee to elbow. Exhaling back to verge, feeling that stretch. Lifting that right leg up nice and high, maybe placing that left palm down on the earth and lifting that right leg up nice and high. Noticing that the higher we go, we can feel that in our gluteus maximus. We are lifting and firming our buttocks here. Pulsing that leg up and down if we choose. Feeling that burn, pulsing that leg up. Tummies are tight, body's feeling nice and strong here. Mind is feeling nice and strong here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause. Exhaling the table. Dropping our bodies down to our cow. Chin is up. Breathing to our cat. Low one back to our table. As we extend that left leg towards the back, nice and elongated here, feeling that stretch. <sighs> Extending that right arm forward. We are in that full sunburn. <sighs> Balancing the body here. Gazing forward, tummies are tight. Breathe in deeply. Exhaling, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Flowing back to bird. Hanging out here for a couple breaths. Placing both palms flat on the earth if we, if we choose as we lift that left leg up nice and high. Just feeling that burn, just lifting that leg up nice and high. Gazing forward as we pulse that left leg up. 
We are working at gluteus maximus or the opposite buttocks here. Feeling that gluteus maximus get nice and firm, rounding our buttocks. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding that pause. Exhaling back to our table. Knees are hip distance apart as we drop down to that cow. Chin is up. <sighs> Exhaling to cat. Flowing back to our table. We're going to push our bodies up to our tail dog. Working the upper parts of our bodies now. Gazing at our feet. Maybe we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet left to right. Finding that pause, shifting that weight forward. Come into that high plank, building strength, the upper part. We come into a low plank if that feels good. We can even drop down to our knees. Whatever feels good for you, three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling to that low plank or chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Exhaling down to our tummies, coming on to our space pose. We are on our tummies, we are on our four arms. We are going to relax our bodies here close to the earth, ensuring that our shoulders are not shrugged, having control of our bodies here. Shoulders are away from the ears, chin is slightly up. This Sphinx pose is a slight back bend. As we take a nice breath in, exhale through the mouth. Noticing how this Sphinx pose relaxes and soothes the body. As we come flat down to our tummies, we're gonna flow into a Superman, Supergirl. Lifting those arms up in front of us. Lifting those legs up off the earth. Yes, we are on our tummies. Maybe, let's have some fun. Let's fly like we're flying to where we gotta go. We're flying to our destination. We are above the world, feeling strong. Finding that pause, we're gonna swim our hands towards the back, we're gonna flow into that locust pose. Palms go upwards towards the heavens. In our locust pose, just like a locust, we got rid of anything that wasn't serving us in our lives. We wiped it clean, locust pose. Chin is up, this is a back bend. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Holding this pose, we're gonna flow into a bow pose. Either, either a half bow or a full bow. Connecting the right hand to the right ankle, left hand to the left ankle. We are in that bow pose. Using our hands to lift our torso further from the earth. Chin is up. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, relax, slowing down to that locust pose. Straightening out those legs, arms off the earth. Locust pose. As we relax our hands, holding this locust pose, relaxing the body down. Third eye chakra, forehead connects to the earth. Shoulders melt forward. We are in that sleeping locust. Feeling that third eye chakra. That forehead connect to the earth. Shoulders melt forward. Here in our sleeping locust. May we take a moment to go inward. May we take a moment to just focus on self, focus on where we are, who we are, being aware of what is going on within without judgment. Simply being aware. As we know, a locust, they're the insects that wipe out crops. They just take it away, eat it up. Annihilated. So may our locust pose represent us annihilating anything that isn't wanted and needed in our lives. But we first must be aware of it, aware of how it makes us feel, aware of what it's doing to us. And be aware of and make a conscious decision to just eliminate anything that is no longer serving us. May we hang out here and rest in our sleeping locus for seven natural breaths, going inward. Mm. Building those shoulder blades melt forward, relaxing into the earth. 
five more breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly awaken from that sleeping locust, we're going to flow back into that locust pose. Arms comes off the earth, legs off the earth. Locust pose. Chin is up. Feeling this slight back bend. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling our arms forward, swimming our arms forward, coming back into that superman, supergirl. Gazing forward, we can fly if we choose, we can stay still. Four breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, relaxing the body, crossing those arms in front of us, palms stacked on top of each other. Palms come down towards the earth. We're going to flow into a sleeping pose. Relaxing that body. Allowing our cheeks or our chin, forehead to relax on our palms. Feeling our shoulder blades melt into the earth. Eyes are gazed down and closed. Taking a couple more moments to simply go inward and relax. Four more breaths. <sighs> Slowly awakening from that sleep pose, we're going to flow back into our staff pose. Coming back onto our tummies, we are back on our forearms. Chin is slightly up, eyes are gazed downward or closed. Feeling this slight back bend. Breathe in. Exhale. Feeling that body relax as we bring our palms closer towards our torso. We're going to flow into a baby cobra. Using our palms to push that torso slightly away from the earth here. In our baby cobra, our torsos are close to the earth. Our elbows are slightly bent. As we push our bodies further away from the earth, coming into that cobra. Noticing how our elbows are straighter. This is a deeper back bend. Exhaling back down to that cobra, bending those elbows. We're kind of just doing a couple of push-ups here. Back in that baby cobra. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up to that cobra, straightening those elbows. Chin is up. Feeling that back bend go deeper when we lift our chin up. Exhaling to our up dog, taking our feet and pushing our thighs off the earth. We are nailing that up dog. Thighs are off the earth. Chin is up. Feeling this pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back down to our cobra, coming onto our thighs. Exhaling down to our baby cobra, bending those elbows. Flowing back to our space pose. We are on our tummies, we are on our forearms. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Gaze forward with the eyes closed or gaze down. As we take this time to take a moment to notice the difference between the poses we just did, the Sphinx pose, the baby cobra, the cobra, the up dog, they all look very similar. So when we are out there in the world teaching our clients, may we be aware of how each pose looks similar, but feels a little different within the body. So may we be mindful and aware of the poses and how they look. As we are now in our Sphinx pose, we're gonna flow back to that baby cobra and be mindful of each pose and how it feels in the body. Baby cobra. Exhale into cobra. Flow into our up dog. We're gonna hold this up dog for three breaths. Exhale into down dog, gazing at our feet. Tummies are nice and tight here. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch here in our down dog. Mm -hmm. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding that pause, we're gonna walk our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold, allowing that torso to relax over the thighs. 
head melts downwards. This is a full body stretch. Breathe in. Exhale. Feeling that body relax here. Maybe our eyes are closed. Maybe they're not. As we hang out here, four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into our half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. <sighs> Yogi walking our feet slightly apart, creating a nice little stance here. Exhale back down to that complete forward fold, feeling that body relax down. <sighs> As we flow into a rag doll, connecting our hands to our elbows, noticing how this rag doll feels in the body. Nice deep stretch. And maybe we can rock, sway our body from side to side if that feels good for you in this rag doll. Noticing how when we add movement to the pose, we'll feel it a little more behind our hamstrings, the backs of our legs. As we relax and soothe in our rag doll, Five breaths. Three more breaths. Finding our pause at center. We're going to widen our legs a little more, coming into that wide-legged forward fold. Yogi walking those feet further apart, feeling that nice deep stretch here, connecting our hands to the earth, or our fingertips to the earth. As we are slightly gazing forward, we are in that half wide-legged forward fold. Feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. As we connect our hands to our ankles, allowing that head to relax completely downward, we are gazed to the back of the room. Feel the neck stretch. This is a lengthening pose here. It's also a stretching pose. It's also working at lumbar spine. It's also regulating the heartbeat. Noticing how it feels within your body. Noticing what it soothes within your body. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling out to that half forward fold. We are still wide legged. Gazing forward. Breathing to our wide legged Tadasana Pantra at our side. Just for a second. Lifting up that heart chakra. Chin is up. Allowing that head to relax, flow between the shoulder blades. We're kind of going to come into a wide-legged back bend. Allowing that back shoulder blades to flow towards the back. Yes, we are soothing and relaxing our spine here. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. We are in that wide-legged Tadasana as we point our toes outward to the edges of the mat. So toes points outward, we're gonna flow down to our God, goddess hands, bending those knees, coming into that cactus hands here, working the lower parts of our bodies. And maybe we can pulse it up and down here. We're gonna feel that burn. We're gonna pulse our bodies up and down here. Feeling that God, goddess burn here. Finding that pause as we rock our body from side to side. Noticing how it works different parts of our muscles here in our thighs and our legs and our quads when we rock. Finding that pause, flowing our hands above our heads in that salute. Chin is up. Exhale into prayer, bringing those palms at heart center, feeling that stretch or feeling our burns, our legs burn here, shall I say. Connecting our hands to our knees. Noticing how this feels. We're going to work on our goddess twist. With our hands on our knees, we're going to take this right shoulder and twist it towards the left. Feeling that twist, gazing over that left shoulder. We are in our God, Goddess twist. Three breaths. Exhale into center. Goddess twist opposite side. Left shoulder flows towards the right. 
gazing over that right shoulder. Two more breaths. Exhale the body back to center. Breathe, complete forward fold, wide legged, straightening out those legs, hands close down towards the ankles, head melts down, complete forward fold. This is a counter stretch to what we just did, allowing the body to relax and soothe. Breathe in. Exhale. Feel in that body suit. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into half forward. Flow back up to our wide legged Tadasana. As we flow back down to that God goddess stance here, goddess pose, pack this hands. We are working our legs, our thighs. We are firming the lower parts of our bodies here. Now we can pulse it up and down if that feels good for us, or we can rock it from side to side. Or we can stay still, whatever you choose. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Two breaths. We're going to feel this burn here. We're going to hold our pose, staying still, flowing into that salute, palms above the head. Exhale into prayer. Two more breaths. Flowing to our standing star, straightening our legs, breathing our arms outward towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Standing star, breathe in. Exhale. Feeling our heart chakra open here. Feeling our chin slightly up. Gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes. Empowering ourselves. Envisioning what else we want into our lives. Feeling strong, feeling bright like a star on a dark night. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Breathing our palms above our heads. Coming into that salute, flow into heart center, relaxing the palms down, standing prayer. Yogi walking our feet a little closer together, just bringing our legs inward, noticing how that feels. Walking our legs together, we are now in our standing prayer, shoulders relaxed down the way from the ears. Our feet are planted and rooted into the earth. May we always be grounded. May we always be true to ourselves as we are standing here in our standing prayer. May this pose remind us to be grounded. May this pose remind us to be rooted no matter what, no matter how far we go in life. Be rooted. Be grounded. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, hands forward fold, keeping our palms at heart center. Slightly gazing forward. Breathe in. Exhale. Lowing down to that complete forward fold, connecting the hands to the earth or the ankles. Feeling that full body stretch, head relaxes down. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Three more breaths. Walking our hands forward, our feet are towards the back. We are in that down dog. Tummy sit tight. Exhale, three-legged dog, right side. Breathing that right leg in the air nice and high. Gazing at that foot. As we breathe that right foot towards that left buttocks. And if we're able, we can flow into a wild thing. Lifting that body. Flipping that body, feeling that full body stretch, feeling the body soothed and relaxed. This is a back bend, a major back bend. 
feeling that body get nice and strong. We're also balancing and strengthening here. Hanging out in this pose as we flow back. Exhaling out the pose, flow into the down dog, gazing at our feet, walking our dog. Head on those legs left and right. <sighs> Finding that pause as we lift that left leg in here nice and high. Three legged dog, opposite side, gazing at that foot. <sighs> Breathe in. Exhale, flowing that left foot towards that right buttocks, opening up that hip. And if we're able, we can flow over to a wild thing. If we choose, feeling that nice deep stretch. Left arm flows over the head. This is a nice deep back bend. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale out the pose, flowing back to down dog. Gazing at our feet. Dropping down to our forearms, flowing into a dolphin pose on our forearms. Buttocks comes nice and high in the air as we are gazed to the back of the earth. Dolphin pose. Walking those feet close to the torso, allowing that buttocks to come higher in the air. This dolphin pose prepares the mind and body for headstand. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Maybe pulsing up and down on our tippy toes if we choose. Feeling that tippy toes pulse. You'll feel it in your you'll feel it in your forearms a little more. Two more breaths. Exhale down, coming onto our knees, flowing into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Allowing that torso to relax between the thighs. And our puppy pose, our buttocks is in the air. Torso comes down. In our child's pose, our, our legs are wider. Buttocks is kind of close to our heels of our feet. Torso is closer to the earth. Whatever feels best for you, child's pose, puppy pose. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Torso melts forward into the earth. Maybe our third eye chakra is connected to the earth, maybe. As we use this time to relax, we are soothing. We are going inward and focusing on how we feel right here, right now. What's going on within us, our mind and our body. May we be aware without judgment. Eight natural breaths. Maybe breathing our palms together, flowing into a prayer hands, child's pose or puppy pose. Maybe. Four more breaths. Extending those arms in front of us if we are in our prayer hands. Palms are flat on the earth. Slightly gazing forward as we swing the wave our bodies out of that child's pose, puppy pose. Using our palms to push our torsos forward. Feeling that spinal wave. Pushing our buttocks towards our heels. Feeling the rhythm in our hips. Feeling the rhythm in our spinal cord. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Mm. 
Finding our pose at table, we're gonna flow back to our table pose as we drop down to that cow. Exhale to cat. Lower back to our table as we cross our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated pose. Yes, for a second, we're gonna slow into our backs, coming into a reclined position, hugging our knees into our chest. Knees to chest pose, allowing that torso to relax backwards into the earth as we are gazed up at the heavens, gazed up at our ceiling, hugging our knees into our chest, showing ourselves a little self-love. This pose helps regulate a person's heartbeat. So when they have anxieties, this is a pose that we can put them in, bringing that heart to the thighs, helps soothe and relax their heartbeat. As we breathe our legs up in the air, we are on the legs on the wall pose, pointing those toes upwards towards the ceiling. That is our clear to flex for our feet, pointing those toes upwards. You'll feel that stretch a little more in your legs when you point those toes. As we breathe our hands to the lower parts of our legs, we're gonna bring our legs towards our torso. Legs to torso, stretch our buttocks, come slightly off the earth. Two more breaths. Exhaling our legs back up in the air, legs on the wall pose, breathing our knees into our chest. Breathe in, exhale. Allow those legs to fall towards the left. Recline spinal twist. Feeling that spine soothe and relax here. Taking this right arm, bringing it out to the side like a T. Gazing over that left shoulder. I'm sorry, gazing over that right shoulder. Or gazing up at the heavens, whatever feels good for you. As our shoulder blades connect to the earth. As our mind and body, our spinal cord is soothing. And our spinal twist. Gaze in the eyes down, close in the eyes. Four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing those knees to flow towards the right. Recline, spinal twist, opposite side. Left arm goes out to the side like a T as we gaze over that left shoulder or gaze up at the heavens. Shoulder blades melts back into the yoga mat. Eyes are gazed down with a closed. Take a nice subtle breath here. As we relax. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, bringing those knees into the chest, hugging the knees into the chest. Extending the legs up in the air, legs on the wall. Breathing those legs towards the torso, but I come slightly off the earth. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. Feeling this pose. Keeping our knees in the air. Feet are flat on the earth. We're going to work on our bridge pose. Palms are flat on the earth next to our buttocks. Feet are flat on the earth. Knees are high in the air. As we're going to use our feet and our palms to lift our torso. I'm sorry, lift our hips off the earth. This is a pelvic tilt. Lifting those hips forward. Noticing how when we lift our buttocks off the earth, you can also feel it in your gluteus maximus. 
And if we want to go deeper, we can bring our hands underneath our buttocks, interlacing our hands, our fingers, and walking our shoulder blades closer towards our spine, noticing how the torso comes higher in the air. Now we are in that deep bridge as we pulse that gluteus maximus up and down. Noticing how this feels in our thighs, our quads, our lower back, even our hamstrings. And we can pulse it or we can stay still and just simply feel the burn. Whatever feels good for you, seven natural breaths, bridge pulse. Flowing into a three-legged bridge if you choose. Five more breaths. Three breaths. If we're staying still in our bridge, may we, may we pulse our gluteus maximus up and down. Feeling that nice burn here. Pulse in the body. Three more breaths. Pulsing it up and down. Finding our pulse, pulsing it up nice and hard. And we're gonna feel that squeeze. Squeeze in that gluteus maximus here. We're in a nice high bridge. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Feeling that gluteus maximus round and lift. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Pulsing that body up and down. Two more breaths. Finding our pulse. Squeeze again. Squeeze nice and tight. Squeeze, squeeze. Uninterlacing those fingers. Untucking those shoulders. Relaxing the gluteus maximus to the earth. Breathing those knees into the chest. Hugging the knees into the chest. Breathe in. Exhale. Feeling those shoulder blades melt towards the back of the earth. Lifting those legs up in the air, legs on the wall. Breathing those legs towards our torso, buttocks come slightly off the earth. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. Breathe in. Exhale, happy baby. Knees flow towards the torso, feet is up in the air. Palms come between the thighs, coming out towards the side, hooking them to our feet. Happy baby. Noticing how the floor, the earth relaxes and soothes that spine. Shoulder blades back is melted and relaxed onto the earth. Taking nice subtle breaths here. There, there are many poses we can do in our happy baby. May we relax and soothe and freestyle. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Happy baby. Maybe we can rock our body from side to side. Maybe. And I want the earth to soothe that spine a little more. Finding our pause if we were rocking from side to side. Exhale, extending our legs up in the air, legs on the wall, feeling that stretch, pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens, that clear to flex. Exhaling the knees into the chest, breathing the feet downward towards the earth as we bring our legs parallel side by side, coming into our Shavasana pose. Legs are parallel, the sides of our feet are connecting or touching as we allow our feet to fall to the sides like a V, completely relaxing our legs here, our feet. Arms flows towards the side or on your body, wherever you feel you want your arms to go. Gazing upwards or closing the eyes down, gazing low, whatever feels good for you here in Shavasana, this is your time. This is your moment to relax and soothe. Breathe in deeply. 
all time. They are one with the earth, feeling connected. Six breaths of silence. Two more breaths. As we slowly roll onto our sides, we're gonna flow into a fetal pose. <sighs> Keeping our eyes gazed down and closed if that feels good for us. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes, rotating our ankles, moving our bodies at our hips. Using that top hand to push our bodies up out of our fetal poles, flowing into a seated position. I'm gonna flow into a cow face legs. May you find any seat that feels good for you. <sighs> Tummies are tight, spinal cords are nice and elongated here. Shoulders are relaxed down with away from the ears. Eyes are closed or gaze down. Feeling relaxed here. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Breathing our palms at heart center. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice teaching training here with you today and for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today, for it truly, truly was a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Mm.